Salam, welcome to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Wangil Zalalem bringing you this report. The economists decided to blame the underdevelopment of Africa on an insect <laughs> named Titsi Fly. The economists did a story on Africa's underdevelopment and their reasoning left a lot of people speechless. They wrote on their Twitter handle, could this insect be largely responsible for Africa's underdevelopment? They asked, and their article posted on January 15, 2015, titled How an Insect Held Back a Continent, went viral after they reposted it on social media. So they're blaming the Sitsi fly for the underdevelopment of Africa. This is so ridiculous to me. This huge platform is blaming this fly for Africa's misfortune. I have better hypothesis for the economist. Listen up colonialism, Western world meddling in our politics, Western nations working or hiring puppets as our leaders to manipulate and control the people, Western companies exploiting our national resources by tying our hands, corruption, and so on. I feel like those are better hypotheses than the city fly. That's just me. Maybe you tell me down below if I'm wrong. So this huge platform decides to blame it on this fly. So Africans were actually responding to it online. They were just, we couldn't believe that this is what they posted. And this article was written in 2015, mind you. They reposted it now in 2021, January. I don't know if they were intending to go viral or to cause some drama, but they did that now. That's how we uh, heard of it. And that's why we're reacting to this. This is crazy. This is ridiculous that these people believe that the reason why where we are is because of a fly. No, no, we don't buy that. And from all the things that this platform could have discussed and talked about and explored they decided to blame this fly you know why because they're serving their masters they still believe that they can control the narrative and what people think and what people believe that's not true that's not necessarily true now we understand now we have woken up now we won't accept this kind of nonsense yes the fly might have caused something mosquitoes cause something like there's malaria there's lots of things but that's not the big issue the bigger issue you know the economist and all of us know just because you don't want to accept it doesn't mean that we have to accept it so stop diverting from the real issue and stop giving us reasons that a three-year-old won't even come up with from a big platform like them we don't expect this but i guess they could have done this years ago and nothing would have happened but now africans are awake and we're not going to take this from you hence the twitter feed you you go and read what people wrote under uh, the post that they have made and it's just so satisfying to see what people were saying they were putting pictures of africa and the rest of the world and you know that picture like they've dug africa and took the natural resources and the money is everywhere else but Africa, Africa is starving because of the Western world and the Chinese, the Asian world. So uh, people are awake now and we refuse to participate in this foolishness. Anyways, guys, do let us know down below what your thoughts are about The Economist coming out with this article and um, what do you think about the concept. I am Wengil Zalalem bringing you this report. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.